Okay, Kala Yahweh, so like your Ka Hala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ochar, Kodash. I'm gonna say Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai Mashiach, Brakata Yasharala, Brakata Yahweh, Kala, Kala, Shalom, Shalom, Halawaya, Halawaya, Double Iron City Apostle, and that was a great millstone. Who taught us this truth, who are pushing this truth, and are overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David. More perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the uh, Slakim. Shalom to the Akim while the Brafim scattered abroad. Shalom to the still believers. This is Yahweh Sap, by Yasharala, by Yahawada. Coming to you live through the Spirit and Power, Yahabashim and Ashad, you know, a quick lesson. Uh, the reason why I'm kind of doing this lesson in Prop 2 is um mainly because this, this scripture has been weighing on my spirit for a long time. The spirit, the spirit has just been constantly putting the scripture into my remembrance. So I decided to just do a video on it. So this is Obadiah 1 and 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall be returned upon thy own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. And they shall be as though they had not been. But upon my Zion shall be a shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall be shall possess their possessions. And I'm not gonna skip one at eighteen. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph, Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken it. And this is these are end time prophecies. Um, if you believe otherwise, you have to prove it uh, with a historical historical documentation, because prophecy is observed through history. Prophecies are observed through history and historical events. So if this if this if, ver if this verse happened, you have to be able to substantiate it with historical documentation. So Obadiah one and fifteen, for the Lord for the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. If thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. And that's true. The day, the day of the Lord is near upon everybody. But it's more important is it's near upon these heathen. Because they have they have done some some wicked, some very wicked, and some very um horrific deeds to the nation of Israel, which are which are the so called um which are the so-called uh, African Americans, Hispanics, and the Native Americans on, in the Western Hemisphere, and whatever wherever they may be scattered abroad. But this is John ten and ten: the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and destroy. And tell me what tell me what nation fits that that um that um I would say that that um that uh like identification or standard or that classification or those attributes more than a so called white man who is the biggest pirate to ever who is the biggest pirate to ever hit this earth the biggest disease the biggest perpetuator of wickedness the biggest uh uh um thief who's so more than a white man recompense tribulation of those who trouble you So this is Second like Thessalonians one and six. Seeing it is a righteous thing of Yahweh by Shimei Ashai to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And this was the this, this was this was Paul writing to the um the church at Thessalonica who are Israelites who are not some other nation or not some Gentiles who are Israelites living in in Thessalonica, saying it is righteous thing what Yahweh. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, and who is that? Who is that 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 trouble us the most? Who is our biggest adversary? The nation of Israel, the so-called white man. That's why he wants us to take a jab. He wants us to, to take this vaccination. He want he he already had us in slavery, great raw murder, Tuskegee experiments. The list goes on and on and on. Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? The list goes on and on. 
what you people have to understand is the wickedness of the so-called white man it, it's documented he has a paper trail that's um, that's 2000 miles long his paper trail his paper trail is so evident you can't even get past it let me get this scripture cuz I like I like the rendering uh Job he covereth the face is This is Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's the who's the ruling superpower right now? Who who what nation is at the top? The so called white man. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who 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 did iconoclasm? Who who changed the image of the so called the holy prophets, the disciples, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? Who changed who changed these images into a white man? A matter of fact, what images do we see today of anything? A so called white man dealing dealing biblically the so called the the, the so called Jews, the so called Jewish people. Those are white people. According to, to according to the white man, the Most High God is a white man. His son's a white man. Peter's a white man. Paul's a white man. David's a white man. Who covered the faces of the judges thereof? The so-called white man. The earth is the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So going back to to um, Obadiah one and fifteen, for the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. And what did they do? Rape, rob, murder, wickedness, wickedness, wickedness. They shall reward. They shall reward. Uh, return upon thy own head, because what 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 um the so called white man knows is that they fucked up when they touched the nation of Israel. They they seriously fucked up. Cause why? Deuteronomy seventy six, for thou art an holy people unto have thy power. Yahweh, thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. The Most High God chose the nation of Israel to be a, to be a special people unto himself. He, did, he didn't do so with any other nation. We're the only nation chosen, selected, and elected to be the people of the Most High God, to be the children of God. This is Psalms 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. He ain't he ain't chosen these other nations. When did he when did he do that? Um Slucky, the scripture just escaped me. Uh oh yeah, ye are gods. Psalms. Ye are gods. This is Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, ye are gods. We were, that, that word gods is Elohim or Elohim, which just means a power. We, we are power. Why? And all of you are children of the Most High. We are the children of the Most High. And these nations, especially the Edomites, they fucked up when they took us into slavery. They fucked up when they raped Rod and Merber. They fucked up and they have to pay for it. And that's, that's not according to me. That's according to the Bible. Because why? What does Paul say? Be not deceived. God is not mocked. This is Galatians, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. And the white man has not paid for he, his his crimes. The white man has paid for for white man has not paid for his international wickedness, his international pillage, his international piracy, his international uh, rape, rob, murder. He has not paid for that. And if he has, show me some historical documentation. Show me what a white man has paid for for his crimes. But he's gonna pay because the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Zechariah 2 and 8. 
For thus saith Yahweh host, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. For he that touch of you touches the apple of his high. It says, For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a soil to their servants, and ye shall know that Yahweh of hosts hath sent me. He that touches it. When you touch the nation of Israel, man, you fucked up. You did yourself a big disservice. Uh, Zechariah 1 and 15. 15. This is Zechariah 1 and 15. And I am I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. Yeah, th th they're chilling. They're chilling. These other nations are chilling. They're chilling. They think they got off scot-free. But it's what it says. For I was a little displeased, and they helped for the affliction. Yeah, because Yahweh let uh, allowed us to go into slavery just to teach us a lesson, you know, just to give us some discipline. But when you when you wicked ass when you wicked ass people started for started raping women and and butt breaking and having these 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 fucking mandingo fights and having all these 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 this fucking wickedness go on. That's when you you fought the affliction. That's when you, you you fucked up and you did some you did some shit that was just that now you have to pay for. You gotta pay for that shit. Obadiah one and fifteen. Then I'm gonna go back to Zechariah because I think sixteen has something to say. Obadiah one. So like you know. Obadiah one and fifteen. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Uh, what, what's, what the prophet said? What prophet said that? Um, they shall drink. Let me let me go to my notes. Uh. I think it is Joel. Joel three. Uh. Mm. Is it Lamentations? Um, They shall drink of the cup. 
cup. Oh, gee. Hmm. I guess I, that's not the worst I want, but it's kind of saying the same thing. So, um, I guess I'll just go to the point. This says, Jeremiah 25 and 27. Therefore, thou shalt say unto them, Thou save your whole host, the power of Israel, drink, eat, and be drunken, and spew, and fall, and rise no more, because of the sword which I will send among you. And that shall be, uh, let's get some context. Let's get some context, first of all. Uh, Jeremiah 25 and 26. And all the kings of the north, far and near, one with another, and all the kingdoms of the world, which are upon the face of the earth, and the king of uh, Shemek shall drink after them. Mm. Mm. So this is Jeremiah. I guess I have to read this whole thing. Jeremiah 25 and 17 for context. Then took I the cup at the... At, Yahweh's hand and made all the nations to drink unto whom Yahweh had sent me to a Jerusalem in the cities of Judah and the king thereof and the prince thereof to make them a desolation and astonishment and a hissing and a curse as it is this day. And we, you know what I'm saying? That's true. We're still, we're still, we're still in a, a very low state, the nation of Israel. Cause we drunk of that cup. But again, as it says, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and his servants, and his princes, and all his people, and all the mingled people, and all the kings of the land of Uz, uh, I believe I was talking about Edom, and all the kings of the land of Philistines, and the, uh, Ashkelon, and Azad, and Ekron, and the remnant of Ashdod, Edom, and Moab, and the children of Ammon, and all the kings of Tyrus, and all the kings of Dedan, and all the kings of the Isles, which are beyond the seas, uh, Dedan, and Tima, and Buzz, and all that are, that are in the utmost corners, and all the kings of Arabia, and all the kings of the mingled people that dwell in the desert, and all the kings of Zemiri, and all the kings of Elam, and all the kings of Medes, and all the kings of the north, far and near, one with another, and all the kingdoms of the world. All these kingdoms, all these heathens, all these other nations, which are upon the face of the earth, and the kings of Shemach shall drink after them. So we already drunk this cup. We already, already, we've already had our punishment. Now it's time for you nations to have your punishment. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, Thus say if you have Lord of hosts, uh, the power of Israel, drink ye and be drunken and spew and fall and rise no more because of the sword which I will send among you. And it shall be if they refuse to drink the cup at the, and if they refuse to take the cup at thy hand to drink, then thou shalt say unto them, Thus say if you have of hosts, ye shall certainly drink. Your judgment is going to come. You have to pay for what you did. You have to. You have to, cause one a false a, a false balance is an abomination to Yahweh. A false balance is an abomination to Yahweh. We, as a nation of Israel, we've been getting a short end of stick for too long for you to for you not to get ever get the short end of stick. So you gonna get you gonna drink of this cup. Mm. And it goes on to say, for lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. And should you be, and should ye be utterly unpunished? So the Lord is saying right here, my my people who I chose, the apple of my eye, I've already disciplined them. I've already chastised them. I've allowed you to do. I've I've um, allowed you to do to do whatever you want to these people. And you think you going you think you not gonna get none of this shit? You think you ain't gonna get this shit? You really think you really think in your heart you're gonna escape? And should you and should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, save you howl. Y'all gonna get this shit, man. Hosea 4 1. Hear the word of Yahweh, ye children of Israel, for Yahweh have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth. Nor mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh in the land. Let's look at this word controversy. Scripture.
Strong's H7379, Rive, Rive, and second entry, Riv, Riv, and third entry, Riv, Riv. It says strife, controversy, dispute. Strife, quarrel, dispute, controversy, case of law. Yahweh got a problem with you nations. Yahweh has a, a controversy. He has he ha, he has he has a problem with y'all did. It says by swearing and lying and killing and stealing. What? By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood toucheth blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yet the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive, nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the peace. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. This is uh, Hosea 4 and 8. They eat, they eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on their iniquity. And there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways, and reward them for their doings. He was he was talking about the nation of Israel too. But we've already we've already served out our punishment. Now it's time for you to get yours. You're gonna get your punishment. You're gonna get your punishment. Uh mm, I'll, I'll go to Isaiah 14. That's no problem. Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And what? And the stranger shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Talking about Israelite foreigners, the so-called Gentiles in the New Testament. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall reap. You reap slavery, you reap rob, rape, rob, and murder. What well, is going to be done unto you in righteousness and righteous recompense? Seeing that it's a righteous thing, what you have to recompense tribulation with those that trouble you. For you have, uh, and they shall take them captives who captives they were. They shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. It's right here in the Bible. And it shall come to pass in the day of Yahweh, it shall come in the pass that Yahweh shall give them rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage where, wherein thou was made to serve. And I shall take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How have the oppressors ceased to go to city cease? Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath a continuous stroke. He that ruled the nations of anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Ain't no murder. Y'all, y'all gonna get this work. Y'all gonna get this work. Work, 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 work. Y'all gonna get this work. Um, it should be Michael Fox. Um, This is Micah 2 and 1. Well, to them that inv- devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Who is that talking about? It's, it's, it's applicable to everybody. But who does that in this, this time frame? The so-called white man. And these other nations. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is the power of their hand. And they cover fields and take them by violence. And houses and take them away. 
So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Child of slave, we still slaves to this day. Slavery is still America. Slavery is still legal in America, according to the Constitution. Therefore, I say of Yahweh, behold, against his family do I devise an evil, for which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall you go hotly, for this time is evil. In that day shall one take a parable against you and lament with a doleful lamentation and say, We be utterly spoiled, and he have changed a portion of my people. How have he removed it from me? Turning away, he have divided our fields. Therefore, thou shalt have none that shall cast the court by thy lot in the congregation of Yahweh. It goes on to say in verse 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the destroyed destruction. That's why we need to come out of this place mentally. We have to. We have to come out of this place. Uh, 1 John 2, I think it's 1 John 2 and 20. Uh, 1 John. He that overcometh the world. This is First John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of the life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. And the world, what? Passes away and lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. Your nation's going to get this work. You gonna get this work, man. You got to. You have to. Cause a false balance is an abomination to to your Most High, Yahweh. Uh, Proverbs eleven and one. A false balance is abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is delight. So you've been able to do what you want to do for these past these past this past millennium. Just be prepared. Just be prepared. Just be prepared. Because it's going to happen to you. The day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. The day of the, day of the Lord is near upon everyone. But you heathen, you heathen going to get it. You're going to get it way worse. For the day of the Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy, thy reward shall return upon thy own head. This is out the scriptures. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom.